Hi, this video covers installation of the development environment for the BHI 260 on Windows. The same is also applicable to the BHA 260. The installation of the development environment consists of the two parts, the Eclipse and Arc new toolchain for the BHI 260's Arc processor from Synopsys and the software development kit from the BHI 260 from Bosch SensorTech. Let's start with the Arc new toolchain from Synopsys. You can find the links in the description below. Next, let's install the BHI260 SDK. Now let's open the Eclipse IDE to import the BHI260 SDK as a project. Let's open the Project Explorer select import and under CC++ select existing code as makefile project and then click on next. Select the GNU tool chain for the ARC EM and then browse for the installed BHI260 SDK. Select it and click finish. The SDK is typically installed in the documents directory. The project is now visible in the Project Explorer. Right click on the project to open the project's properties. Here we will need to configure the build environment. In C++ C++ build, under the builder settings tab, uncheck use default build command and change the build command to build.bat. In the build options, remove all, and that would be passed to the build command. Then click on apply and close. Clicking the build icon will now execute the build.bat batch script. While the build is in process, let's go through the basic structure of the SDK. Let's start with the bolts. Each configuration file here effectively describes a firmware built. You may change how external sensors are connected to the BHI260 and what features the firmware should contain among many other parameters that will be configured here. In the driver's custom folder, you may add one or more drivers of your own to run alongside the existing stock drivers provided by Bosch SensorTech. Any addition of drivers will also need changes to the main CMake file found under the common directory, details of which can be found in the quick start guide for the SDK. Refresh the project to see the release directory. In the release directory, you can find a pair of firmwares for each configuration file. Each firmware file can be loaded either to RAM or flash and cannot be exchanged. The release directory of the BHA260 will only contain RAM firmwares. Now let's install development desktop to help load firmware into the BHA to check if it works. Now let's open the device manager to check if the application board is detected. Connecting the application board and powering on should now show as a BSD board. Let's now open development desktop. Make sure the sensor board is connected to the application board. If detected, the BHI260 view in development desktop should open and start with a prompt to download a firmware image into the BHI260. Browse to the BHI260 SDK's release folder and select a firmware that you would like to test.
Once the firmware has downloaded successfully, you may now configure the virtual sensors to plot and configure the respective virtual sensors under the virtual sensor tab. Once configured, click on Start Streaming to visualize the sensor data. Et voila, you have now sensor data from the firmware you have just built for the VHI 260. Moving the sensor should result in the change of data that you observe in real time. Thanks for watching and stay tuned in for more videos.